Hey, welcome back. I've got a see a surprise bag, fifty dollar value from BudK.com. Uh, surprise bags are fifty bucks in value, according to them, retail price. Uh, they charge twenty six ninety nine. I don't do these very often, but I've got one for us today. So let me zoom this out just a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll get to her. And we're going to do this in a fun way, which is there you go. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Now, all right, so I set all this stuff aside and uh, we'll go through it and see what we've got here. First of all, we've got a Krieger quality blade. I've never received a Krieger, Krie, pardon me, Krieger knife from them before. Is the uh, information on the back. Open it up here and see what we've got. So, we've got a nice little locking folding knife. Uh, has a little bit of an edge, not a whole lot. But uh, I can sharpen that thing up in about 30 seconds with my sharpener. So, there we have our Krieger folding locking knife. Uh, does not, yeah, KG186 is the part number. It's, it's Chinese. So, one Krieger knife. Let me get this stuff where you can see it as I do it. There we go, one Krieger knife. Uh, next up we have a Trailblazer three pack aluminum emergency whistles. There we go. Small enough to fit on your keychain, apparently. Yeah, three little. They're gold anodized aluminum. They have the Trailblazer logo on them and a little little key ring. Uh, see how it sounds. Oh shit, that's loud. My ears are ringing now. Oh, here comes the tinnitus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? I'm not mad so far. So, Trailblazer three pack mini aluminum emergency whistles. Next up, we have from United Cutlery M48 Combat Toothpick Knife. Let me get this stand here and yeah, do it this way. Do it this way. There we go. Uh, if you wonder why I seem a little confused about camera angles, is I stand at an odd angle to the camera, uh, and it kind of screws me up sometimes. So let's uh, see if I can find something to open this up with. There we go, box cutter. Okay. And even if there's a blooper where I, where I stab myself, you folks will get to see it. So, M48 combat toothpick with a covert shoulder harness. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of an edge to it. Of course, it's really not supposed to. This is a stick them with the pointy end kind of knife. But, uh, yeah, I'll be putting an edge on it if I hang on to it. Uh, nylon sheath over the shoulder like it says. Uh, yeah, why not? Hey, I will, you know, I'll say I'm not beholden to anybody. I don't owe anybody a good review on anything I get. Uh, I just give my honest opinion whether I like it or not. It's acceptable. That's again M48 Combat Toothpick from United Cutlery. Uh, next up we have, oh, I can't have this. I'll have to find somebody else to take this. This is their lockpick set, I believe. No? What the hell is this? Secure Pro key set. Yeah. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it to be 
perfectly honest, they have a lock picking kit, a uh, practice kit, but this is just the tumbler and three keys. Got a blank key. I guess that's, I don't know. I don't know, folks. Uh, it's a mystery in the mystery bag. If you know what it is, and if I find out exactly what this is, I'll put it down here in the info. Right now, I don't have a clue. Like many things in my life, I don't have a clue. Next up is Trailblazer Carabiner Bungee Cord. Cool. I need one. Need more of these. Uh, this goes in the saddlebags for my bike. Uh, it's just carabiner in bungee cord instead of an S hook. Uh, heavy duty secures better than traditional bungee cords. Metal carabiner on each end. Heavy duty bungee cord weight capacity is 17.6 pounds. Yeah, I bet it's more than that. But nice stretch to it. Yep. Not mad at that one. I can always use more bungees and carabiners. Uh, up next from Trailblazer emergency fishing pod cool I don't know if you've seen these before it's just an emergency fishing kit all wrapped up in uh, pardon me all wrapped up in uh, paracord and this is not getting unwrapped on here it's got a uh, fire blade on a key ring hook with line floats lead sinkers swivels fire tender and flint 550 paracord and a strong metal carabiner uh, if you want to read the rest of this information pause it now so there we go yeah can't complain at all that's the uh, emergency fishing pod from trailblazer Next up is a knife. Oh no, this is even better than a knife. Let me get it open here and then I'll show it to you. This is the Amazon Jungle Survivor Spearhead and Fire Striker. So we've got a nice nylon sheath. Decent nylon sheath. We've got a fire striker here or a ferro rod. Inside the sheath is the Amazon Jungle Hunter Spear. It does, damn, it's got a nice, nice edge. Uh, it's 1045 high carbon steel. Uh, supply your own handle for it or just use it as a knife. Yeah, I'm not not mad at that at all. I'm actually quite happy I got that. I keep looking at them on their website, and I don't ever justify spending the money because I know I'll never use it. But, yeah, I'll throw it in my camping gear or on a shelf, or if I never get around to it, I might even do some giveaways on here. So, Amazon Jungle Hunter, or Jungle Survivor, Spearhead and Fire Striker. Here we go. If you want to read the back, pause the video now. Alright, next. Last. No, not last. Next is FubarString.com, a ultimate survival string. First 100 uses that come to mind, we yeah, we bet you can find 100 more. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is a, well, it's survival string. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, it's got instructions on how to use it for various, various applications, including tying things and sewing things. Uh, yeah. Let's start here. Pause it now. Yeah. 
There you go. It's the other side. I'm not going to sit here and read this whole thing. We'll be here all day. Plus, trying to read it upside down takes me twice as long. So, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah no complaints. No complaints at all. Get up. A couple of little plastic uh, tools for making buckles, that type of thing. Got a couple of needles. Got this, uh, I guess it's easily separated out into various strands or uh, whatever uses you need. Uh, I just got some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, it's not a lot, but you know, how much can you get in a little disc package like this? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, I'll put it to use one way or another. As I think I've already said a couple of times. So, happy about that. Happy about everything so far. Uh, next up is... Venison with Beef Mild Stick. From Buffalo Bob's. Ingredients, venison, beef, salt, water, dextrose, sugar, flavoring, flavoring citric acid, sodium uh, erythrosorbate, or erythrobate, sodium nitri nitrite. All right, so, here we go. You know what? I haven't had lunch yet. Don't often get to do a tasting with an unboxing, so... God, it smells great. Yeah, that's good. It's got a little vinegary tang to it. Fairly decent smoky kind of flavor. Mm-hmm. It's not too dry. It's not too greasy. You know, a lot of the venison, because it's so lean, is really dry. But, yeah, this is good. So, I'm happy with that. Last, but not least, let me double check. Yes, very last thing on the table, except for my thumb-detecting nut fucker that I had to buy yesterday when I picked up a new trailer for my motorcycle and <laughs> left my hitch at home. We've got a nine-piece camper's mess kit from Trailblazer. If you want to read it, pause the video now. And here's the back side also available, pack away camping lantern. So, no more information on the back. So, I got a lid and the bottom of the kit doubles as meal bowls, interlocking knife, fork and spoon set, nylon cutting board with strainer, collapsible drink cups, seasoning container, soup or cereal bowl. Glad it didn't say a soup bowl or a cereal bowl because I'd hate to use, use it for the wrong purpose. Comes in a nice handy dandy little plastic case. Here we go. Here's our little mini cutting board and strainer. Yeah, nice. Very compact. Bottom serves as a bowl, uh, wash basin, yeah, meal bowl, it actually looks like a little bitty wash basin, I used to have one about twice that size on my boat, uh, fork knife and spoon interlocking, stainless steel, that'll do the job, it's actually nicer than the camping mess kit that I've already got, alright, uh, Little seasoning shaker. It's got uh, we got three compartments. Yeah, three compartments. Cool. All right. Little uh, yeah, cup bowl, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, collapsible drink cup, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a collapsible drink cup. I'm sorry. You fold it out, and I'm not going to do it right now because I'll look like an ass trying to get it done. Well, hey, it was easier than I thought. There you go, little drink cup. Cool. So, drink cup, little bowl. Soup for soup or cereal only. 
don't just drink water out of this because you'll be in violation of terms of service and they'll come take it away from you. So soup or cereal only. This is your drink cup. Just so we're clear on that. All right. So there we have our complete Trailblazer nine piece campers mess kit. And yeah, I'll put it back together later. So this is what I got for uh, the, or out of the surprise mystery bag, fifty dollar value. I paid twenty six ninety nine for it from BudK.com. I've got nothing here to complain about. Yeah, some of the stuff I'm not going to use. I'm going to eat that sucker though. Uh, some of the stuff will just go in my camp gear. I'll use that on my motorcycle. Uh, that I'm not 100% certain about. That I'm not 100% certain about. But they'll get. They'll they'll find a home. This. If I can't find out what it is, hopefully someone else can tell me. Because yeah, I don't have a freaking clue. Uh, and if it serves no purpose to me, I'll repurpose the container. So, there we have it. Nine piece camp mess kit. The carabiner bungee cord. The uh, spearhead and fire striker. This lock device. The M48 combat toothpick. Uh, the, what did they call this? Fubar string, ultimate survival string. Trailblazer three pack aluminum emergency whistles. Ah, hell with it. Give you another demonstration. Oh god, that makes my ears ring. Uh, the Krieger full folding lock blade knife. Uh, and the Trailblazer emergency fishing pod. All this from Bud K for 26 bucks. Their uh, mystery box, as you know, if you didn't know. Uh, it's a surprise bag. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, I've gotten a couple of these that were kind of eh, crappy. Uh, I've gotten a couple of nice ones. Uh, this one I'm very happy with. But 26 bucks, you get $50 in value. It's a crapshoot what you're going to get. I did good this time. It gets two thumbs up. So... I guess that's it. If you have any suggestions of anything you'd like to see, put it down in the comments. If it's under a hundred bucks, I'll try and get it done. I'll try and make it happen. Uh, then you don't have to spend the money. We all get to see what's in the box. And uh, hopefully a good time will be had by all. If you like the video, please click like. Share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, Again, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. I'm going to go eat my beef. Pardon me. I'm going to go eat my venison steak. <laughs>